This is AJ Harrison with EWBadgers.com. The top-ranked Wisconsin women's hockey team hits the road this weekend as they travel to Grand Forks, North Dakota to take on the Fighting Hawks of UND. The Badgers are coming off of an impressive sweep of number three ranked Minnesota, Wisconsin's first sweep of the Golden Gophers since the 2009-2010 campaign. Wisconsin defeated Minnesota 3-2 on Friday thanks to an overtime strike by Annie Pankowski that snapped the Badgers' 18-game winless skid against the Gophers. On Saturday, Pankowski scored twice and Sarah Nurse added an empty netter to complete the sweep and lift the number one Badgers to an 18-0-0 start, their best in program history. I think it was huge for our team to be able to put ourselves out there like that and to um, come away with two wins over a big team. I think that being ranked number one, we kind of had an, an asterisk there that said uh, until we beat Minnesota. And I think that having won, we have earned a lot of confidence in each other. And I think moving forward, it's going to be something that's going to be beneficial in our back pocket. The Badgers' defense, led by netminder Anne Renee Dabian, was stifling during the sweep, allowing only three goals to the Gophers, who entered the weekend averaging over six goals a game. Wisconsin continues to lead the country in scoring defense, holding opponents to an average of a half a goal per game. Just amazing. We've been able to do um, all the little things. We didn't like break out. We just stayed composed the entire series. And we've been able to block shot to make sure that our pass in the zone was tape to tape. That when we had the puck, we kept control of it so we could put, spend some time in the offensive zone. And I think that's something that the other teams not, wasn't able to do so far against uh, Minnesota. And that's something that we've been able so we can really be proud of ourselves. Not allowing them that many scoring chances was a big thing for us. A trio of Badgers were recognized by the WCHA on Tuesday as Pankowski was named the league's Offensive Player of the Week after scoring three times against Minnesota. Gabian was named the WCHA Defensive Player of the Week and Sam Kogan was named the conference's Rookie of the Week after tallying two points on Friday night. The Badgers face a tough road challenge at number 9 North Dakota as the Fighting Hawks are coming off of a split against then number 6 ranked Bemidji State last weekend. Despite winning the series last year, the Badgers know that they will have their hands full against UND. I mean, North Dakota has always given us great games, and I think that this weekend is going to be tough, but I think we're ready for it. I think last weekend we really showed what we have, and those, those wins are great, but moving on to this weekend, it's going to be two really good battles. They're always a hard team to play against. You know, they're going to get there. They're going to be a really physical team. That's always like this when you play them up there. Uh, they're going to... Try. They have some people that can put the puck in the net too, so we have to be careful of that and we cannot allow to take a weekend off against them because they definitely want to get some point in the standings to go back where I think they need to be. They're a really amazing program and they've been doing pretty well the last couple of years, so we need to make sure that we go up, we're focused and what happened last weekend, we can build on it, but we need to forget because beating Minnesota doesn't mean we're going to beat everyone else. This weekend series against the Fighting Hawks marks Wisconsin's final games of the 2015 calendar year before taking a month off for finals and winter break. I mean, obviously our bodies need a rest. It's going to be a, a good four weeks to just kind of rejuvenate and take a break a little bit and kind of reflect on the first half of the season and see where there is room for improvement. Just giving us a little time to kind of miss the game a little bit and to get excited to come back for the second half is going to be huge for this game. Fans can watch this weekend series via UNDSports.com, where there will also be a free radio feed available. In addition, fans can follow the games via Twitter or through the Game Day Live blog on UWBadgers.com.